For this project we went all the way east in Thailand to Ubon Ratchathani. Very long drive and it's a temple that has a very beautiful uh, Buddha statue where the goal was to get lights on a uh, battery and also during power cuts. So here we see the lights uh, when we did the survey. Uh, we of course have to survey everything, what is needed, how many batteries, where to put the panels. So a lot of things to try out during this phase. And then we have the installation in September. Here we're putting the panels up in storage and they start on the frame. So some really beautiful pictures here when we are working. And here's the frame that we ended up with uh, going for. And you see it's actually extending from the top level directly out to the lower level as one frame. And that was the key here, you can see it. It extends out. So that was really good because it made it so that uh, we were able to make the frame really strong and uh, no problems with shading from the top level to the lower level. So all in all really nice work by the team here to figure out this solution. And that was really the key here to because the, the frame has to be high because of the big trees. And in this case, the temple did not want to cut down the trees. So that's why that's why the, the panels are so high. So here we see the guys uh, starting on the cabling and uh, making concrete. This kind of protection for the pillars is good to have. It will make them last a, lo a lot longer. And here they are making some safety safety gate and also a safety wall and here they are welding and starting to get things finished at least with the panels uh, but the big job in the, in the inverter room is left to do and so here they are doing that uh, that's Peter working on the cable tray and then we have uh, in this video, on the right, we have him working on the safety equipment and breakers. Lifting the batteries, very heavy. And six batteries total, so of course it's a lot of weight. And here you see, and here we see a happy night. Can put filter on, make him even more happy. So here I am guys in Nuban Ratchatani. This installation almost finished now. 20 kilowatt inverter power and uh, 48 kilowatt hour battery power. And this system gonna be able to run the lights for the, for the Buddha statue in the night when they have a power cut. So this system is a donation from a Falang um, group that lives in Isan. They want to be anonymous, but uh, they are doing projects like that, helping the temples and they are retiring now in Isan and they want to help some, some temples and we help them uh, get high quality systems. So the reason they are high, there's two reasons. Uh, the panels, when they are high like that, we can actually support everything together, it makes it stronger, but also because of the sunlight, because there's a lot of trees around, so that the panels are high helps with uh, production. So, and also if, if they were low, it would also be, then we would have to have a big fence down here. So overall, many reasons why they are high, high like this. Um, but overall, I think it's a really nice solution, so, uh, solution and the, the guys have done a great job there. Looks really nice. So, we have eight panels per uh, module here. So, that's what we call one string. So that they work together. Eight, eight, and then 32 over there. So, pretty amazing. So you can see now, already now, before 9, 9 a.m., the sun is fine coming over the treetop there. 
hitting all the panels. So that's an interesting thing in Thailand that uh, trees are actually less of a factor than you might think because yes, if you have some very big trees to the south, uh, close to the panels, that will not work. But in this case, that's obviously to the east. So if you have a little bit trees to the east, it doesn't really matter because that energy that you lose in the morning is so little. So, so I can show you the inverter room here. So here's where still some work to do. But uh, this is an awesome place for uh, equipment. Really nice, big enough, so no problem with the ventilation or heat. So the safety equipment is also going to be here. So here you see the batteries. One, two, three, four, and two more coming up. So it's going to be the same on this side, like here. So this is going to work parallel together, like one system. Uh, we have done that before, so it works great. So that's it.